gang welcome back to another video as you can tell by the title this video i'm going to do a q a which i haven't really done in a very long time probably like the last time i did a q a was um this past summer i did a histology q a and that was in two parts so be sure to check out that q a if you have any questions um you know up until now that i probably answered in that last q a i'll leave um the card somewhere right here so you can check that out right after this video guys, and also too i was thinking about maybe um going through the histology study guide book the test questions book and actually going through and i'm seeing where when i was studying i would write little notes and jot little notes down and based upon this book um i did write some notes saying that this question is actually on the ascp um so i would definitely go through some of those questions i was trying to break things down in different chapters so i'll go through a couple of the categories and let you guys know from what i actually remember uh, that was on the ascp um some of those questions and we can go over those if you guys have taken the ascp recently and you recognize some of these questions feel free to leave that somewhere down in the comment uh, section down below i would love to know hey that question was on my ascp or hey i didn't even get that question but i said i remember studying it because there's so many um questions that are in this book and there are only a hundred questions on the ascp so that's why i definitely suggest you guys try to study as many things as you can and study things in different types of ways so that's what we'll be talking about today i hope you guys are enjoying your holidays and let's go ahead and get into pistol holiday ASCP questions and an ASCP Q&A. Okay, so you guys know that I swear by this ASCP Border Registry Study Guide. Um, if you check out my study tips for the ASCP, I told you guys that all you need is Frida Carson, which is your mom, and the ASCP Study Guide um, to really, really pass your test. You could do your own flashcards just to you know give yourself your own study guide but whenever you're studying i would definitely tell you to read frida carson and then head over to the um, study guide book which is this book right here you can't go wrong as far as like studying for the ascp so let's go ahead and go to one of the questions i know that i had wrote down last night um that was on the ascp and that is on page um 104 if you got this book would be this uh, processing schedule. And I'll put that you know schedule in the next clip so you guys can actually see it. But this processing schedule is very important because um, even though you may not ever load a processor or take you know um, specimens off the processor, it's really important to just know the um, basic schedule times and how things are calculated, you know, for the SCP study guide. They give you three schedules, schedule A, schedule B, and schedule C. And this question says, which of the processing schedules shown below should be used to process fixed routine surgical tissue in a closed processor? So for you guys who are still students or you still have not worked in the histology lab, the three scheduling processing um, times is normally a biopsy run, which is normally your GIs, um, things that need a short run. And also there are your routine, which is this question is your fixed routine surgical. So those are all your surgical runs, like your normal tissues. Um, you know, they're just surgical tissues that may not be a priority run. And then you also have a fatty run, which is normally for your breasts or any other fatty tissues. So they're normally broken down to several different categories, which you guys will find out whenever you get your very first histo job or you'll learn that you know why you are still in your clinicals um and you actually may have to go in and help change the processor out or um or even load a tissue basket it's very important that if you can learn um how to uh, accept tissue and load the tissue and um get the tissue ready and, and set the processor that's a really good thing because once again, a lot of lab techs normally do that if you work in a bigger lab, but if there's not a big lab and histotech still can receive the tissue, that's something that you can definitely learn to do. And you just set the actual run that you're actually going to be processing. 
and everything comes off at different hours. Okay, now back to this question, which of the processing schedules shown below should be used to process fixed routine surgical tissue in a closed processor? And the smallest or the shortest time is normally for a biopsy run, which can be around three hours and 40 minutes. Don't quote me because I mean, this was, was when, this is when I was back in school. So, or if you just add up the time, so it just says 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, how many alcohols and the absolute alcohol and the xylene that comes up to three hours and 40 minutes. And if you add up schedule A, that's 11 hours and 20 minutes and schedule C is a little bit longer. So that's 33 hours and that's really, really too long for a fixed routine schedule. Then that pretty much makes it over process. And then if you look at schedule B, that's around three hours and 40 minutes. That's probably too short of a run for surgical um, tissue. So that's too short. But if you look at schedule A, if you add up those hours, it looks like it comes up to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 hours and 20 minutes. So the answer will be schedule A for surgical um, runs. So it's pretty much, you just need to calculate everything and you can just sort of guesstimate, okay, this may be too long for a surgical, but if it's fatty, then it could be the longest run or this may be too short. So that may be a biopsy with smaller tissue samples. You definitely don't want to over-process those. And if it's something that's like just perfect, like in the middle, then those are your normal surgical tissues. And then the next question is number 20, which of the processing schedules shown below should be used to process a fixed needle biopsy of the liver using a closed tissue processor? So um, using a closed tissue processor, so that's the shortest time because you're doing a fixed needle biopsy. So whenever you see the word biopsy, and then that's also another you know major keyword biopsy surgical fatty so it is definitely that's how you know the answer right there if it says a fixed needle biopsy um so we know that's going to be the shortest time because that's a small tissue or you know it doesn't need a long run so you're going to do schedule it's the same hour schedule a which is 11 hours if you add up those hours schedule b which is three hours and schedule c which is along 33 hours and you know, schedule B is the shortest time. So schedule B would be the answer uh, for that because that is a, a, that's a biopsy. So you wanna go with the shortest schedule possible. So when it comes to those um, processing questions and you, you haven't done it, you know, in real life, just add it up, add up the time and then calculate which time is the shortest for a biopsy and which time is the longest for a fatty and which time may just meet in the middle for a surgical run. So that's a major key um, ASCP tip that I wanna definitely leave you guys study those processing questions. None of these questions will appear on any board of registry examination. Hmm, what do you guys think about that? If you look at the front of your book, and you break that down, they're letting you know, hey, all these questions that you're studying, they will not appear on your BOC. The reason for that, you guys, is because this book in um, the ASCP is not designed for memory. You're lucky and they ask a question the same exact way, but do not count on it because the goal of the board of exam is for you to know the answer of the question in different circumstances. You never want to just go based upon memory when it comes to the BOC because you won't win if you just go based upon memory. First of all, you can't remember all this anyway for the test. That's just like crazy. You can't remember all these questions. If, if you at least understand the basic of the question, how they ask it in the ASC, uh, how they ask in the um, BOC book, and then you go to um, Frida Carson and you actually like look everything up and read that chapter or read that portion of it then it would actually help to make sense. And whenever they ask the question on the BOC, you could sort of trigger a moment to where you're like, okay, yeah, I remember that in the BOC or I remember that in Frida Carson. Do not try to remember these ASCP BOC questions that are in your book. That is major, major key.